Okie dokie. So let's open up theme.php and have a look inside there. So here's our theme.php file. Oh, no, that's our theme.ehtml. I'll go over here. So I'll go through and, and explain each of these areas. Here's the copyright notice for uh, E107 for uh, Steve Dunstan. You leave that in place uh, because he was the one who originally started E107. And now we actually go down into some variables that are created. You actually don't need these, but I'll just go through and explain what they are anyway. So here's our multi-language area. So um, in this theme it's saying include from the E107 themes folder, that's what this means, um, go to the clean template folder, which is my folder, to the languages directory and bring in the language that is specified for this website because you can use multiple languages. Um, I haven't done that yet, but you can. And then it also says bring in the English one as well. Um, so that'll bring in the English language version. Um, then below that, you've got the information about the theme. Now if I go back to our E107 over here to the admin area, you'll see that it says author, Bryn Nielsen, release 7th of February and so forth. All of that information is stored here. So theme name, clean, uh, clean template. This is the next generation of it. Uh, previously it was done for E107 version 6. Now we're doing it for 7, which is a little bit different. Then you put your theme author, theme dates and some brief information. It's based on Jaya's theme. I started off with his theme and his style sheet. Okay, this here, um, because there is the core style sheet, which is used like in the admin area. Um, so we actually tell it to turn that off because we only want it to use its own style sheet. And you can also set up lo uh, multiple layouts, but we're just saying, look, just use the default layout. I haven't actually used any different layouts before. Okay, now this is where we actually get to put our HTML code in. So if we look at here, it says header start. This is the variable, header start equals. Then you'll notice that it's got a double quote mark. That means that everything between that quote mark and the end quote mark is what's going to be rendered on the page. So that means that you can't use double quotes in your HTML code. If we go back over to my theme.html, you'll see here that I'm only using single quotes. And that's because it would break the variable if we used a double quote. Um, so the first thing you need to do with your design is just take away all of the double quotes. If there's a time where you have to use it, and sometimes you do, um, you might be putting a JavaScript tag in there or something, you could do something like this. You could change it to a double quote and then put a backslash before it and that just escapes it and sort of says to the theme, well, this is okay. It's not actually part of the variable, but it's just easier to use single quotes. Okay, we'll go down. If we look at my original theme, I've got my editor text here and it says, this is where our logo will go. If you look back over here, there's a tag here that says logo. So you've got uh, left brace, then logo in capitals, and then right brace or curly bracket thing. And what that does is it actually goes and grabs the logo from the default place on the web server, and I'll show you where that is later. Actually, I'll tell you where it is now. Uh, I've got just got to ask myself where it is. <laughs> it's over here. <clears throat> the easy way to find out is just go to it and right click on it and go properties. So it's stored in the E107 images folder and it's called logo.png. Um, now it's a good idea to actually keep it in there um, because then if you want to use this theme for another website then it's easy for you to just re-upload the logo to that area. Um, and it's also easy for your clients because they can just use the file manager in E107 to upload logo.png to that place and it'll replace it. Uh, we go down a bit further. Uh, site links menu, if we have a look on my original theme here. Site links, this is where they'll go. I'll show you what it looks like on the actual page. There they are there. So we see in the theme 
that again we've got those curly brackets and we just say site links equals menu and that will bring in all of those uh, site links there now we go down to our first column which is this bit here and what we're doing here is we're setting a style now I'm going to come to that later um, I'll, I'll show you what it means soon but here we say menu 1 now I'll show you what that looks like in E107 so if I go back to the admin area and I go to content menus See how we've got area 1 here? That directly relates to this menu 1 here. And what we can do over in E107 is we can put any of these uh, menu blocks here. Well, I call them menu blocks. E107 calls them menus. I think it's clearer to call them menu blocks. Um, I could add like this online menu block to go into area 1. In fact, I'll do that now. Activate in area 1. Now, if I go back to the web page... We see that down here, the online menu, it's showing who's online at the moment, which is me, I'm logged in as Grands. Um, if there was another user, it would say we've got two members logged in. And that's how we can move that into that menu block. Okay, let's go back to our theme. Carry further down. Right, so here's our center column, which is where our main content comes in. Again, we have a set style thing. It's actually nothing to do with CSS. Um, it's more like a layout, which is actually at the bottom of this theme that we'll look at soon. Uh, WM, uh, w message, it's a warning message. It only shows if something's wrong on your website, but it's just there um, for, for convenience. So if there's a file that shouldn't be there, um, you'll go to your web page and it'll say, oh, you need to delete this file. It shouldn't be there. It's a security risk. <clears throat> okay, so this top bit we could call the header area of our website that contains our left column and um, just the start of our center column. Then we go to our footer area, which is actually our right column. So here we go, set style equals right menu, which is like a layout for the right menu that we're going to define later on. And then we call it menu area 2. So if I go back over into here, we can see uh, over here... I'm going to need to maximize that. You can see menu area 2 there. Back to our theme. And then we come down to the bottom, the footer of the page. And if we look at the website, we can see that at the bottom, we have Content Management System by E107, Web Hosting by Spinning Planet New Zealand. That's called the Disclaimer. And you can find that in the admin area, settings, preferences, and down the bottom, it's here, site disclaimer. Okay, so that's the basic uh, structure of our theme. Now let's go down and look at the styles that I mentioned earlier. Okay, for the link style, you can um, add some pre-link code such as I might actually want everything bold so I go bold before the link and then I close the bold after the link and let's just save that and I'll upload it to the server and that's theme.php I'll put that over there too oops go back and now let's refresh that page and see how all of those just went bold. Of course, I don't really want them bold because that's ugly. So I'll take that off. It's just to show you what it does to that link style. Uh, you've got different types of link display as well. Uh, you can make them vertical. Um, there's some other ones too. What I'll do is I'll provide you a link to the tutorial page that talks about that.